Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Smith from Backbench Coder. Hope you have enjoyed the last series of making your own portfolio using React. Well, this is a project for JavaScript beginners. So let's explore this project and see what we are going to build. So first of all, look at this stunning Neomorphic UI. We will be talking about how you can make your own Neomorphic design step by step. Okay, so let's look at the functionalities. So basically, these are the seven pads. Each one of them creates unique sounds. So if I click on W, look at this. A is nice nice cool either you can click this using mouse or you can trigger it using keyboard so if i now press w a s look at this then there is this volume controller which basically controls the sound of this app so if this is maximum let's listen this okay now if this is minimum look at this nice and then there is this button which is start auto music so it basically creates random music from these pads let's click this listen this nice so i am not triggering any keyboard i am not clicking it using mouse it's just creating random music just stop it nice okay then there is this button which is change theme so this is interesting look at this if i click on change theme Look how this color plate changes. Nice, nice. So, so with this you can get an idea how dark mode and light mode works in an app. And then this is change background. So if you see the background image, I look at this. And if you can't see, just change the theme. Look at this, how this background image is changing. But now the interesting part is this is not static images it is coming directly from unsplash.com using an api so you will know how to use a public api and fetch data from another website so that's all of the functionalities and now let's talk about the prerequisites i hope you have some basic knowledge about html and css if you don't have just see some crash codes and come back here cause html and css is highly recommended for this project and for the javascript part if you have some knowledge about for loop then javascript functions javascript variables that's enough for this project Anyway, I'll be explaining every line of code so that will not be a problem. So that's all for the introduction part. See you in the next video. Bye.